Hello everyone, Marvel DC Extinction Wrestlers here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on Cody Rhodes winning the WWE Championship and finishing the story on, on WrestleMania. I should also address it's not a review of WrestleMania 40. It's not a review, not my pay-per-view review. Um, I'm not sure when my next one will be. Uh, but yeah, so overall, I just kind of want to let you know how I feel about this pay-per-view, um, about this Cody winning the championship. Um, and just let you know, it's nothing negative. Just so you all you know, it's nothing negative. It's just how I overall feel. All right. So starting off, I love that he finished the story. I think, I think it's great that, um... A wrestler can finish his story um, pretty qu like that, like how Cody did. You know, two WrestleManias against Roman Reigns, you know, became the champ, and then eventually become a champion, yeah. In the second one. That's not my problem. My only, my, what my, I'm going to talk about is this. How do I feel as I'm winning the championship overall? This is a little bit more of a mixed bag for me because... I'll be brutally honest, I, nowadays when you have a superstar who wins the Royal Rumble, usually they're going to become champions in WrestleMania. Um, back in the day, back in the few, past few years, like 2012, like 2012, 2013, around those times, um, this was never the case. You know, you could win for the World Heavyweight Championship or pretty much any other championship. Nowadays, it's either the WWE or the Universal Championship. Now, they're obviously undisputed. It means that it was a winner to take for all. And so, that's why I have not been a fan of that. So, that's why I thought, eh. I mean, it's kind of obvious that he was going to face Roman Reigns. But, yeah. And that's not a critique. Just to let everybody know. Um, how do I feel about him winning the championship overall? Um, it's not the type of championship I personally would have put him. Like if you ask me, I do like how they brought CM Punk and they're they're definitely building up a few, which believe it or not is actually a dream match I've had, like a dream feud. I just say. That is CM Punk versus Cody Rhodes. Um, mostly for the ECW Championship. Because in my personal ideas, I always like to imagine that CM Punk and like ECW was still a thing. And the championship was still around. And CM Punk's the champion. He goes up against like Kofi Kingston, Big Show, Roman Reigns. Uh, even Michael Cole on one point. But yeah. So I thought CM Punk with that. Yeah. I do like the Cody Rhodes CM Punk build up that they're doing. Um, I will also say this: um, just Cody Rhodes winning the WWE Championship is the one championship I never thought he'd win. Like if you say Cody Rhodes would win the United States Championship, I would be like, that seems perfectly normal because I can literally picture him winning that championship not the WWE championship and to be honest I used to think Roman would beat Cody I mean the first round was kind of obvious for me because like before he became the American Nightmare um, you know I usually tend to remember Cody Rhodes as like the um, the guy who the before he became came back from AEW, I used to know him. I used to prefer him more as the guy who can beat people, but is never really like main a main event, a uh, star. <clears throat> because even like twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen, like around those areas, as well as twenty thirteen, twenty twelve, you know, I definitely had a better picture of main of main people who main who could main event. Like Seamus. Seamus. I even had like um I'm trying to think of anyone else. Even the Miz to some extent. 
Cody Rhodes, on the other hand, it's nothing against him. It's just I don't think he was really main event worthy beforehand. So that's why I thought it was a little underwhelming. But yeah. That said, overall, I do like that he became the WWE champion. I do like that. And I do like how he finished the story. It's just me personally, I feel like if you look at how he was beforehand, it's kind of a bit of a mixed bag. Yeah. So overall, I don't hate Cody Rhodes becoming WWE champion. In fact, I think I'd rather have that than have, um, let's see, like, I don't know, some superstar who I don't care about. And that's kind of one of the problems with WWE that they've had is that they normally would just push a random superstar. Um, A lot of people hate that with Roman Reigns in 2015 because... But even then, I always thought, even before that, I thought, eh, he can work. He can be, like, your first push as a main event. But, yeah. I will say this. I am not a fan of The Rock turning heel. Because that was, like, The Rock in the Attitude Era. You know, but, but fun fact for people who did not watch The Attitude Era. The Attitude Era was essentially the time where Rock was essentially a heel. And I think he worked better in the heel in those time periods. For one reason. Th- those time pe- The Attitude Era was essentially the time where WWE could go chaotic. Like, as chaotic as Marvel or DC. And that's why I thought, in those cases, it works. Here, it doesn't work. Because I think The Rock worked better as a, as a face than a heel. <clears throat> in my opinion, at least. And plus, I personally was not a fan because they never had The Rock do a, a sh- um do some matches. Like nowadays, most people would remember would know The Rock from Black Adam. Not really the WWE, which is how I knew him. So yeah. Uh, Undertaker showing up, I like that. He's one of my favorite wrestlers, and I grew fond of him pretty early on. Um, it is kind of sad that we never got Undertaker versus Wade Barrett, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I do wish I heard that this will be John Cena's like final run in the company, which is kind of sad knowing. They, he's, I grew up with WWE, but yeah. Um, yeah. Overall, yeah, I do like <clears throat> the Cody won't, uh, finish the story. Just, I think it was at the wrong time. Plus, I just never saw him as WWE champion. Let's be honest, I never saw him as that. Like, if you ask me, if you, like, I think... I I think he was on the level of winning the WWE Championship as well as much as say Bo Dallas, Bo Dallas and I ne- you can never see as champion. Same with Cody Rhodes, but that's just me. That's just me personally. So overall, let me know what you guys think of Cody Rhodes finishing the story. Sound in the comments, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.